Hey everyone, this is Bremster, and this is the next problem in my Sudoku problem series. This is quadruple problem number three by Virtual. Virtual sent in three quadruple problems at once, and I've tried to space them out so that you'd have some time to stew on it and possibly forget what you learnt from the first one. That's not why I'm doing it. I just like to space them out so you can get some different things. Um, so the goal of this, of course, is to place the digits in the cells marked with an X. Um, so normal Sudoku rules apply as always. And the way that quadruples clues work is you would need to place uh, in well, the digits in, uh, that appear in circles must be placed at least once in the four cells touching that circle. Um, so this one's probably, I, I think this is still an easy to a medium. I'll probably classify it as medium because if you've never seen this before it might be a little tricky for you I'm not sure um, I'm going based on um, the feedback I got from virtual and one of the testers um, so what you can do now is pause the video try it on the link below and then I'll be back in a few seconds to explain how this one works Okay, so the way I looked at this one was to start off with using the fact that this um, quadruple had to have two, three, four, and five around it, but we've got a two, five looking at it, so you cannot put two and five here. So this becomes two, five, and there is a five here looking at making this the two and this the five. We still need to put a three and a four in here, which we cannot resolve. However, down here, this five means we can't put five here, and we can't put five here because of this five. So this becomes a five. So these become three, four, and six. Now, if we look here, we've got, this can't be a four, so four must be down here, in here. So this can't be a four, this is the three, this is the four. We can't put three in here, this is the three. This six means this is the four, and this is the six. And that's how you complete this problem. There's probably another set of ways that you could look at this um, by you know putting it together in different ways. But basically what you're doing is you're using the given digits to bounce around and make eliminations around the quadruples. Um, hopefully you didn't find that one too challenging, though if you've never done quadruples before, maybe it did take you a little bit to see how they all bounce off each other. But that's the whole point of this series, to learn. Um, and if you didn't learn anything from this because you've done a lot of quadruples before, eh, hopefully it was fun. Thanks everyone for watching. Um, as I said, I hope you're enjoying the series. And as always, good luck with your solving.